Hey, what's up YouTube and welcome back to another tutorial from your boy Hunter. Now, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up God of War settings on your mobile device. So if you want to play this on your mobile device, this is the settings you're going to need for Ghost of Sparta and Chains of Olympus. Chains of Olympus, I'm going to start first. And as you can see, I've got skins for Kato. And if I continue the game like I'm, like I finished on the PC, I can actually play the game with the gauntlet. Suffering for years, Kratos, the once played gem. I'm gonna skip off it. I'm not gonna play the full game. I just wanna show you how to do the runs. I'm not using my gamepad. I'm using my screen. Okay, so this is... In the previous video I made, you can actually see where the crates are. And then there's a soldier on the fucking screen. I'm not on the screen. <laughs> okay. This is where it usually gets buggy, so let's see what happens. Okay, so this is the settings. Like I said on mobile version, I use Vulkan instead of GLSL. Rendering resolution is times 2 PSP. Software, software rendering slow accurate. I turn that off. And you actually do that out of the game. Display resolution set to native device resolution. That's very important. And then full screen display layout effects this is on PSP gold you're gonna have those layer of layout effects you saw me playing with um well I'm gonna do a tutorial on that for PC but basically it's 
natural colors no blur okay that's all you need so the next one frame skipping you can actually just turn this all the way up to one up to eight doesn't really matter and actually there's supposed to be number of frames okay alternative speed and there's the first one is set to unlimited the second one is disabled you can see it's disabled remember that skip buffer effects is off gp readbacks is off you can actually turn that on if you wanted to i, I want to see what happens when i turn this on anyway skip GPA readbacks oh, I just turned that on, vertex cage is on, lazy texture is on that's very important for a speed up spine bezier quality I just turned this to low buffer graphics commands faster input lag I set this up to 2 hardware transform on, software skinning on, hardware tessellation on Upscale type XBRZ, upscale level off, deposit rise off, texture shader off, anastrophic filtering off, texture filtering max, auto max, and the rest is just, you know. Okay, so I'm gonna have you look at this one more time. So pause the video. something so. I always try to get these boxes and stuff it's very important for all So exit the menu, Ghost of Spora. Now I already got this to run smoothly, I'm just going to show you the settings, I'm not going to change anything.
already in there. And it's exactly the same as the previous one. The graphics on this one are a lot better than the first one. That's what I know. I'm gonna have to play four fingers or more to avoid all that stuff. that's gonna be it i'm not gonna play the whole game and i'm not gonna be spoiling anything game settings vulcan times two psp software rendering slow accurate is off display resolution native resolution so that's basically the same as uh, chains of olympus frame skipping eight percent of fps is supposed to be number of frames and again remember unlimited and disabled now the skip buffer effects on this one i actually leave it as it is just leave it off skip gpu readbacks i turned that on for a reason it makes the game run a lot faster vertex cage I turn that on. Lazy texture speed up. That's very important. Spline Bezier quality. High. It makes it look a lot better. Performance. This is rendering duplicate frame 60. Okay, that's actually set on my system settings. So it will pick up when you change the system settings and then make the game settings. Buffer graphics commands. Oh, and I. I think I missed something. 
natural colors no blur exactly the same okay now what's here performance it, again it's buffer graphics commands input lag so this is up to two hardware transform is on software scanning is on hardware tessellation is on upscale type xprz that's important okay so the rest is off texture filtering i've got the anastrophic filtering up to two and the texture filtering auto max quality and the rest is just normal so this is basically the same as Gens of Olympus. There's not re really a lot of changes. So again, I'll have you look at this. So if you want to do Ghost of Sparta and you want it to run smooth on your mobile device. And just to prove to you I'm on a mobile device. There you go. That's my device. The recorder I'm using is X Recorder. I'm currently recording right now, so you're not going to see any cool settings you might yes so there you go this is my mobile device so just go ahead and download this so thanks for watching if you like the video give it a like if you didn't like it just like it like i said i'm gonna be playing the next version well the next god of war as soon as possible but i think i'm gonna continue with the batman because i don't know what the fuck you guys want but thanks for watching guys and have a nice day